No, it's great seeing some guys around the local high schools or uh, the nearby states and seeing the different products we have, especially right now with the catchers and everything. Um, and just giving back, you know, Doug Schreiber being one who recruited me when I went through the process um, and my dad being here, coach. Um, it's just nice to help out them and kind of show guys that, you know, this this is a place to come play um, and you, you'll have the coaches here to develop you. And you've got a lot of me, my dad, he played pro ball. Doug had a lot of Big Ten experience. Um, you had a lot of, on the staff. Brent McNeil has some good college experience. Um, and most coaching staffs don't have that, and they have time where they can develop you and work with you and give you the individual time where other schools don't. But, and it was a little bit different when I went through it. When I went through it, I, I mean, Doug was my first offer. And I was his youngest offer as an eighth grader. Um, nowadays, kids don't get that, and that's good. I mean, there's young kids now that are nervous coming to this. I'm like, they, you can't, you, they're not coming out with an offer, but that's good. Like, just get your name out there, get your feet wet. So when you come that junior, senior year, um, you get that exposure, you've been through it, and you can kind of just roll into it. And you find that college, you're comfortable going into it. Um, so it's kind of, you know, getting your name out there, learning some things. We've, is it a prospect camp? Yeah, but we're also giving them drills that us with the red system we do and my dad has done over the past years with his pro guys, college guys, and myself. You know, I, pro ball is awesome. I, I'm a pro ball type of guy. I, if I could go back, I would have gone, I would have signed out of high school. Um, but going to college, you get the experience, you get the mental side that I didn't have out of high school. Um, but no, I handled it well and playing in about 80 games. Um, you know, it was tough on the body and everything, but I was able to grow, handle a staff, um, and moving up and everything, you know, handling another staff that you haven't seen since spring training. So that's tough, um, but it's also it comes with the nature, and you got to learn how to do it. Um, so going into it, it's your first year, it's kind of hard going to spring training. Like, what do I do in the offseason to get ready? Now it's I can I can prepare myself. So this offseason was a lot easier. I knew when to start. I knew when to do things, when to get live stuff. And so when they say, hey, you're coming out early or coming out like a month early, I'm – I'm already prepared to go. I can come back and I know where I'm going to stand. Going in, I was kind of the main guy in Daytona right from the get-go. Um, so I was playing four or five games a week out of six. Um, so once that started and the ball was rolling and I kind of got that role of just being an everyday guy, it was good. And then came down to a point where I was hitting a three-hole and I was kind of moving up to spots where you don't see a catcher hitting at professional the professional level and you don't see uh, – the free agent guy hitting in that spot. So it's one of those that I kind of proved my point that, you know, I'm, I wasn't supposed to be a free agent guy, but I don't, it's not about the money until you get to the big leagues again. I've, I've said it multiple times. Um, and, you know, I've, I've gotten the prospect stuff that have, what, how they talk about. So I'm getting invites to the early, the strength camps, the, all the things that normal free agent guys you don't see getting. It's just you put your head down, you play with a chip on your shoulder, and that's kind of what I did is I didn't really care what people thought. And so, again, I'll go into that this season, same thing. Yeah, like I said, last year I started in Dayton. That's my idea. I told everyone I want to start in Dayton or Daytona and move up to Dayton. This year that's my idea is I want to start in Dayton and move up to Chat. Um, and that's kind of baby steps. I don't want to – there's no one can say, hey, I want to start in Daytona and end in Cincinnati. It's just unrealistic whether you can say you want to start in Daytona and end in Louisville. Um, so it's just kind of baby steps, making those small goals and achieving them. And if you do bigger than that, that's I'll, I'll be happy with that. But I, I want to start small and then go bigger. No, be it would be awesome. Uh, you know, I missed, I think it was by about a week or two um, last year on the move up. So I was looking forward to that. Um, but, you know, it would be nice to have, you know, close friends who have been in my life, my, my whole life that have been true friends, be around. Um, we're still in the area and family. When I was in Dayton, it was nice because we were at home and I had family over there who, my cousins, my aunt and uncle, they were at every single game. My parents were at every single game. Um, so it just make it nicer to have that home base, feel at home, um, get a home cooked meal. Uh, so it'll just be nice to have the fans and you can kind of relive the memories and be like, all right, I worked for this. Kind of share it with those family friends. So it'll be, it'll be nice to hopefully get that, get that shot in a moment.